In this episode, two things primarily happen. One is uh, the boys, Dean and Sam, encounter a uh, rabbit's foot, which has, you know, a typically supernatural dealing with uh, the unfamiliar. That is, it's trying to kill you. Um, and then also, uh, uh, certainly, probably for fans, uh, it was the introduction of Bella, and that is a big thing for Supernatural, since they are a road trip. There are very few regular characters that get introduced, and this is one of them. Basically, the introduction of female characters to this universe is really difficult, because um, you have a lot of devotees of like Sam and Dean, and the idea that they are going to look elsewhere, or that they will turn away from their own brotherly love, or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Like there's a, there's a real challenge to providing new characters in this universe, a resistance to it. And it was fun in the context of this episode to play that kind of game with someone, because they tend to have the most acumen of anyone they meet in their episodes. No one believes them, no one takes them seriously, but they know most everything. Um, and it was good to have someone who had some cards up her sleeve against them. I think that's useful. John's, like, storage space was something that uh, kind of came up incidentally in this story and became increasingly important to us because the idea, I mean, you know, the, the dad's, he, well, he was in hell and now he's somewhere else. He's gone. And the idea of being able to kind of, like, reacquaint the boys with their dad in any way it had this kind of, um, it was just available emotional material. So going to that storage locker and seeing the two things that, uh, you know, he kept of their, the, their boyhood, you know, the soccer trophy and the shotgun. Um, you know, this, I think, drew Eric into that part of the story. I'm sure, I mean, I know it drew me too. It's like this notion of like a, a letter from your dad from the past or like you find some photo in a photo album and there's a musty, nostalgic something to it that I think uh, for uh, an episode that was mostly light and kind of um, almost like a screwball comedy, if you really think of it, this was a good emotional underpinning to start it with. 